Welcome to Kids Takeover Day at the Songus Center here in Lowell, Massachusetts for America East Women's Basketball on ESPN3. Today, UMass Lowell will take on Vermont. For more on the game, let's send it over to Helen and Scott. Well, thank you very much, Jack and Ashley. And Helen, as they said, welcome to the America East on ESPN3, Vermont and UMass Lowell this afternoon. And Helen, Vermont, a team that won their first two conference games, then they lost six of seven. Now they come in on a two-game winning streak. Very impressive wins over New Hampshire and Albany. Well, yeah, they've definitely gotten Hannah Crimble going, and their offense is just great. They space well, they cut well, they cut hard. And so it could be a very difficult guard today for UMass Lowell. And for UMass Lowell, a very tough loss on Thursday. They had a late lead, but disappointed that they couldn't hang on. Yeah, disappointed that they'd finally gotten to do some things that they've been trying to do all year, but they gave up some crucial offensive rebounds at the end. So they want to come into this game. They're still energized with the good things they did at the end of the last game and hopefully bring that to this game, Scott. Well, you mentioned Hannah Crimble. Let's take a look at her as the impact player for Vermont, the second leading scorer currently in the conference. Well, she has improved so much as you see here with her scoring. Uh, she can drive, she can shoot, and her counter post moves are even better this year. Started all 53 career games, jumping onto the scene in Burlington as a freshman last year. And you can see some of her numbers here. Six foot three, so she's a very tough player to guard. And in her season this year, she has nine 20 plus point games. On the other side, we look at Brianna Rudolph coming off her first career double-double on Thursday versus Stony Brook. Yeah, and it's nice now that she's being much more aggressive offensively. That's really good for UMass Lowell. Gives Kayla gives a little bit more room to operate when she can hit those shots outside. She had 13 points against Vermont the first time these two teams played earlier in the season. And for UMass Lowell, they need her to continue to be that second score behind a player like Kayla Gibbs. I think we, I think we, I think we nailed 